Who's there? Edna, stop. It's just me. Mr. Sagan, what are you doing here? I was gonna ask you the same question, Miss Pickford. Isn't it obvious? I'm putting an end to your den of iniquity before it starts. I don't think so, Mary. I don't like shooting women, but no one comes between Beauregard B. Tannen and his livelihood. Tannen, stop! If you shoot her, she'll drop the torch, and this whole place will burn up! Edna, stop! If you drop that torch, he'll shoot us! Looks like we're at something of a standoff here, Mr. Tannen. I don't see a way out, unless somebody manages to disarm both of you at the same time. How the hell am I supposed to do that? Pickle juice. That ought to be handy for putting out torches. It's too heavy to lift. I wonder what's in these. Oh, stop. Quiet. God. What the hell? Oh, cow crap. There goes all my pickled pig's feet. Man, this thing is not light. Why are you dressed like that? It's right over his head, but I can't knock him out while Edna's still holding that torch. down looks like your torch is getting a little dim there miss pickford it's still hot enough to bring down this little bit of gomorrah tannin <sighs> all right physics <clears throat> What was that noise? What noise? I didn't hear a noise. Say, that's a lovely chandelier you've got there, Tannen. Is it French? Okay, that was lucky. Won't be long now. We'll just see. Pickle juice will put the torch out for sure. Now to tip the barrel over. Come on. Got any last words? I'll see you in hell, Tannen. You first, lady. Come on, you son of a. <gasps> ha! What the frog? Who the hell are you? I'm the diversion, butthead. Nice one, Doc. Don't tell Clara. She thinks Fisticuffs set a bad example for the boys. Now, where's Edna? Doc, she's gone. Edna's DeLorean. We've got to stop her before she hits any more power. Come on! <laughs> <laughs>